Today's lesson, we'll be going over thread callouts. Quick and easy lesson. Um, here, here's an imperial callout. Um, you have a half inch or 500 thou by 13, you want to see 2B. So, 500 thou, the half inch, that is your major diameter, your major diameter of the thread. You have your 13, which is your threads per inch. So, for every inch, you'll have 13 threads. Then you have UNC, which is Unified National Course. You also might see Unified National Fine, which is called that with a U and F. And you have your class of fit, which is two in this case. You'll either see one, two, or three. One being a loose fit, two being like a, like a normal fit, an average fit, and three being a, a tight fit. Um, and then you have B, which is calling out an internal thread. You might also see an A, which is an external thread. So like B would be like inside of like a hole. And here, here is the metric call out of a thread. You have your M10 by 30. So M10, that is your major diameter. And then you have your 30, which is your distance between threads in millimeters. So uh, when I say distance between threads, you take one, uh, you measure from one point on a thread uh, to the next thread. Make sure you're measuring from the same points on each thread. So if you're measuring at the top of the one thread, make sure you're measuring to the top of the next thread. Uh, where the metric and the period are a little different is that we do measure distance between threads and metric, and uh, for the imperial, we measure uh, threads per inch. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Like I said, quick and easy lesson. Uh, hope you have a better understanding of thread callouts.